Hello everyone, my name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new here and you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. In today's ride tested review, we are reviewing the Revit Off-Track 2 jacket. As always with these ride tested videos, the only thing I ask if you find this information useful, if you like what I do on my channel, please use my affiliate links when you're buying products, riding gear, parts, accessories, and those will always be below. It's a great way to help support the channel. But also as a disclaimer, I do get a commission on those items, so I just want you to know that, but thank you for considering that. Now, let's talk about the Revit Off-Track 2 in a nutshell. So the Off-Track 2 riding suit is a versatile, multi-season and multi-terrain riding suit adaptable to varying temperatures with large vent panels and includes both thermal inner liners and a waterproof liner that can be worn externally on the jacket. In terms of cost, for the jacket, you're looking at about $4.99 and the pants you're looking at $3.79. The Off-Track 2 is a revision and an upgrade to the original Off-Track, which I reviewed a couple years ago here on the channel. And this is a big upgrade and we're gonna talk about why. All right, let's break down the features and functions of the Off-Track 2 suit. So this is one of these all season, all temperature, all terrain suits. So what you have really is sort of a three layer design. Now Revit will include obviously the jacket and then you have separate rain layer and then a thermal liner, uh, which I don't really use, but the thermal liner also goes in to provide extra warmth. So you've got sort of this all season approach uh, to, to the suit and I really do like these kind of setups because they're extremely versatile and it allows you, especially if you're traveling, uh, just to buy one setup that covers you for just about all types of riding. So on the Off-Track 2, some of the things I really like, you've got the venting, you've got the arm vents here, which are zippers uh, here to open up the arm vents. Uh, you've got the large, I think maybe the hallmark of this jacket are these large front vent panels that are very easy to operate even when you're riding. Not that I recommend uh, doing things like that when you're riding your bike. So come to a stop and do that. But uh, you can definitely put these up and down when you're riding to get good ventilation and flow through the garment. In terms of adjustment on the, the jackets, you know, Revit's really good with that. So they give you fit adjusters at the torso. They give you fit adjusters here the, uh, on the lower arms, the forearms that help hold the big uh, CE level two armor in place. You've got adjusters at the biceps. So uh, unless you're, you know, if you're not Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, you can, you can uh, get these down. So I have them sadly in the tight position because I don't have arms like that, sorry. Um, but I really like the adjustment that you get. We spoke about armor, so you do get CE2 armor, which is, I loved having a CE level two, and the really big, the, the really big uh, C-soft or C-flex, I always forget what Revit calls it, but really good coverage on the elbows and the shoulders. Now, I fully recommend, highly recommend, getting the back pad, the CE Level 2 back pad that Revit sells for this jacket and consult the size chart for the right one, and also the divided uh, split chest armor, which I have in the suit. I love that Revit gives us pockets for chest armor because I always like to have chest armor when I'm riding, and it allows me to not have to wear like one of those dirt bike pressure armor suit things because I've got pretty good armor coverage with this in. So I really like that. I recommend picking those things up. It does add a little bit to the cost, but I think it's well worth it. Now in the previous off-track, they had this sort of mesh up here at the top. I didn't really like that because sometimes you didn't want that airflow. So now they have a little bit of perforation, but they kind of went away with the mesh. So I think that's good. Overall, this is a definitely a much better setup uh, than the original uh, off-track. Some other things, you've also got the adjustable collar, which is really a hallmark, uh, uh, not a hallmark, a Revit trademark, a Revit hallmark, I should say. Really like that. And then the rain layer, the rain liner on the suit, I really like it because they sized it, they designed it in a way that's designed to be worn over the jacket. I've talked about this before. I don't like putting a rain layer underneath my coat on a non-waterproof coat because then the coat just gets soaked and wet and, and it's just gross, you know, and it's cold. So I really like to be waterproof over it. So I really like that. And that helps it stand out from the Revit Sand 4, which is another great jacket uh, that's kind of similar to this. But on that one, they don't really size the rain layer to do that. So I really do appreciate really good rain liner setup on the Off-Track 2. Talking about the pants real quick, I do have the pants and I have used them. I'm just really not a fan of this design of pants where they're neither mesh nor are they waterproof. So, uh, you know, I mentioned this in my other videos, but 
I prefer to either be in a waterproof pant so I don't have to like be worrying about rain liners and all that on the side of the road, or I like to be in a mesh pant and then carry a rain liner with me if I need to put that over. If I like to use mesh when it's warm weather. So I don't really like the, the style of pant in general. It's nothing against the Off-Track 2 pants. They work good, they look good, they function fine, they have good protection. I just, you know, they're not very cool in hot weather. And then when it's cold and wet, you know, they're not waterproof unless you put the internal rain layer in. I don't like pants with an internal rain layer it just doesn't work for me because of taking the pants on and off, putting the rain layer in and out. I just don't go for that approach. Talking about fit on the off track, you know, Revit has kind of their own sizing arrangements. You need to really study those size charts. I normally wear a large in a lot of American style stuff. I'm a large t-shirt, I'm a 44 suit jacket. Uh, you know, I'm a large in like a climb jacket or uh, stuff like that. With Revit and I think also with Alpenstars, I'm definitely into that XL. Um, so consult the size chart. This is an XL that you're seeing, and this is, this is the right size for me. I might be able to squeeze into a large, but I think the XL is really the right size, and that is what the size chart indicates. So what are the pros to this jacket? It's really adaptable to a wide range of temperatures. You know, the venting is good. It's not the best venting. I like to see the zippers go up further. I think some of the other Reva jackets have that. I'd also like to see a bigger uh, vent panel in the back, but overall the venting is pretty good. Uh, the fit, I like the trim fit of the Revit stuff. I don't like the really boxy, bulky fit of like a climb gear, although I do, I do still like my climb gear, a lot of it. But the fit on Revit, it's really nice. The other pros we've already mentioned, you know, the, the ability to put in the chest armor is really good, the adjustable collar, all the adjustments, all that kind of stuff, really, really do like that. What are the downsides to the Off-Track 2? So as with all jackets of this style, not just this particular uh, setup, uh, they're not going to be as cool in the hot summer months as a fully mesh uh, setup would be. And then they're also not quite as warm, you know, in the winter that maybe uh, a Gore-Tex style or waterproof outer shell might be, although it's pretty close to that. So keep that in mind. It's more of an all, it's more trying to be a little bit of everything than be a specialist in one area. So you do sacrifice a little bit on both ends of those extremes. The other only downside I would really say, and I really do like this, this jacket a lot, is that the, uh, the rear vent, I feel like they have an opportunity to make like a fold down rear vent panel like they did on the front. So I've got some other jackets from the competitors that do that. They have like a fold down uh, back panel and that is a noticeably better airflow than just having the zippered vents in the back. So that'd be something I'd like to Revit to consider in the future. All right, what are the competitors you should be looking at if you're looking at the Off-Track 2? Uh, the Revit Sand 4 is very, very good. Uh, I really like that setup a lot. It's just my comments about the rain layer. I like how this rain layer is designed to be worn over the coat. Uh, if they do make a Sand 5, which fingers crossed they will do that, uh, we could see a lot of improvements there. So, you know, that's be something to watch out for if you're, if you're not buying something right now. Uh, so like in the sand jacket, and I think on the, is that the, not the Dominator, but the Defender, I think they've got that center uh, vent, which I find works really, really well. I like that big center vent that those have. This has a little bit different with the side vents, so I don't know, they're both, they're both good. Um, from other brands, you could look at uh, the Alpenstars. Uh, Halo, which I recently did, is a unique design with the removable sleeves. The Alpenstars Bogota Pro, I also have that now. That's a very, very good setup and very competitive with this. Um, so I think they're, they're both really high up there in terms of, of their function and design. All right, well that about wraps up my ride test review for the Off-Track 2 from Revit. I'm a huge fan of Revit gear. Uh, I encourage you to try some out uh, when you're able to. And if you're gonna buy any gear, please consider using my links. It really helps support the channel. Any questions or anything I missed, please put that down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Ride safe and I'll see you out there. Turn your phone off before you film, there's a tip. All right, what are the competitors you should be